It's the Suicide Squad with yours truly, Achilles. So let's get to it. This is the Suicide Squad. Yes, I know what you're thinking. And no, this is not a remake. It's more like Borderline sequel. You have a few characters from the previous film, like Harley Quinn and Rick Flagg. And of course, still in charge, Amanda Waller. Waller? Waller? Amanda Waller. In this film, we get introduced to a whole list of new villains. With a list so long, you may want to just look it up. James Gunn is a fantastic storyteller. With Guardians of the Galaxy under his belt, the man knows how to truly create a story out of thin air. As the previous Suicide Squad, the film focuses on villains doing superhero things, or they get their head blown off. As I have said recently, the list is extremely long. James Gunn went all out on this film when it came down to villains. Some of them made a few appearances and some had a couple of scenes. So, it will be best just to keep it short, starting with Idris Elba as Bloodsport, John Cena as a Peacemaker, Margaret Robbie as the famous Harley Quinn, Joel Kinman as Rick Flag, and my personal favorite, The King Shark, voiced by Sylvester Stallone. The story begins with a short and quick introduction of each villain. Now, not all villains get an introduction, some just passing by. Some people can easily identify them. This is why I love directors like James Gunn, who not only understand their assignment, but they become the assignment. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave me any comments on your thoughts on the film. At the core so far, both Suicide Squad films are always dragging their villains into saving the world. A situation that somehow was always created by the people who wanted the cleanup. And Amanda Waller is always in charge of the cleanup. There is a correlation with the fact that if all fails, you can always blame an easy target. Someone who identifies as a criminal. Because let's face it, heroes don't fail. In this new story, some of the old and new villains are sent to a small country run by a dictator. They are sent to stop him from unleashing a creature with the power to destroy the world. Remember, there are a lot of characters introduced in this film. A lot of them don't make it. Either they die in some glorious way or hilarious scenes. James Gunn did a truly amazing job putting this film together. The story, every scene, every sequence, beautifully, perfectly together. James is truly a genius storyteller. DC have had some really good films lately. And The Suicide Squad is on top of most of them. The production company puts a director like James Gunn in charge. You know you will have a fantastic film created for the fans. James Gunn has the power to make unpopular comic book characters phenomenal. With a brilliant story that pushes each character, builds them up, and shows us the true color and they know how to blow shit up. The story was unique and amazing. James pulled every string out of DC's comics on this one. Things that you would have never thought of or even known of. The action scene was incredible. All the actors did an incredible job. And honestly, my favorite will always be King Shark, voiced by Sylvester Stallone. The characters were all cast excellent. Margaret Robbie will always be the perfect Harley Quinn, without a doubt. Overall, it's a must-see film. I would recommend seeing it on the big screen or stay at home and watch it on HBO Max. It's a non-stop ride that will keep you not only entertained, but the edge of your seat. I cannot express how great James Gunn is. We'll always be one of the greatest storytellers of our time. I hope you enjoyed my review on Suicide Squad. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more by yours truly, Achilles.